Our next presenter is Gabrielle de Lima from the Microbiology and Molecular Genetics Program. And Gabrielle's presentation is Flu Viruses Better Together. Um, test the mic. Hello. Sounds great. Uh, are we good with the timer? Are we good online? Okay, the timer will begin when you start. Raise your hand if you've ever needed help. Maybe you fell and needed a hand to get back up. Or maybe it was when we all had to learn how to use Zoom. If only I had a nickel for every time I've heard, how do I share my screen in a Zoom meeting? Yes, at one point or another, we've all benefited from help. And the same can be true for viruses. Only instead of needing help with a Zoom call, viruses can help each other when they infect the same host, the person or living thing they're infecting. It's important then to understand the ability of viruses to help each other, because where one virus might make you a little sick, two viruses helping each other might land you in the hospital. My research thesis focuses on how influenza A or flu viruses can help each other when they infect the same host. Now, there are many different types of flu viruses, but we can describe them based on the host they're adapted to. Some flu viruses are adapted to infecting humans, others, birds, or pigs. Furthermore, the fitness of a virus, meaning its ability to replicate or make copies of itself, can vary depending on the host it's infecting. For example, a bird flu virus might have low fitness in mammals, like humans. My research then asks the question, can flu viruses that are adapted to different hosts help each other when they infect the same host? To test this, we use a very simple system. We add a constant amount of virus A and then add more and more of virus B. We then look at what happens to virus A. So if we get more virus A, when we add more virus B, that means virus B is helping virus A. We applied this system and infected mammalian cells with a bird flu virus that has low fitness in mammals. We then added more and more of a human flu virus that has high fitness in mammals. We found that we got more of that low fitness bird flu virus when we added more of the high fitness human flu virus. So then we wanted to tease apart whether it was fitness or host adaptation that was important for the helper. We changed up whether the helper virus was a bird or a human flu, had low or high fitness. We consistently found that we got more of the low fitness bird flu virus when we added more of a high fitness virus, regardless of the host adaptation. A high fitness virus could help a low fitness virus. So what's the big picture then? Well, when researchers are trying to figure out which flu virus might pose a threat or even cause the next pandemic, they often look at the individual fitness of that virus. But it's important to consider how its fitness may change when it gets help from another. Sometimes flu viruses just work better together. Thank you.